Sean Dyche was obviously delighted on Saturday as Everton come from behind to beat Crystal Palace in the Premier League, get Everton's first Premier League win of the season. Uh, Dyche was asked about what was said in the changing room at half-time that helped influence Everton's comeback in the second half. This is what the manager had to say. Uh, not a lot. We just uh, tried to correct a few things and told him that it's a, a team game. You know, Everyone's got to make a difference, not wait for someone else. I just felt we played a bit cagey, which is understandable, obviously. It's a, a nervy stadium to get that first win. Um, and I think we, we handled the second half very well. Two great moments from, well, certainly one great moment from Dwight and another good moment. Um, you know, I think after that, I thought we managed the game well, which obviously has come into question this season. So I was very pleased with the mentality to see the game through and manage it well, because I think we kept them down to pretty minimal as regards sort of near-cut chances. Part of that half-time change was taking off Jesper Lindsay and bringing on Jack Harrison. Harrison came on, made a big impact, an instant impact, and obviously set the winner up for Dwight McNeil. This is what the manager had to say about that change. Yeah, I mean, I think Jesper's, I said to him, Andrew, he's learning about what it is here, you know, and, you know, they said to him about, you know, reacting to a mistake, you know, getting after it, going shutting the game down. And, you know, he's a, he's a player who is learning about the culture of Everton Football Club. Um, and I think Jack's got more of that about him because obviously he's learned quicker. Or they're not quicker, but he's learned over his time here. I was, I was pleased for Jack because, you know, we mentioned to him lately about his, his energy is great and he's, he's a very talented footballer either foot. And he used it today by doing the simple thing. Well, we mentioned about being, you know, playing more simple, playing two touch, gets it out of his feet, puts a great ball in. So pleased for him and pleased for the other subs. It's not an easy game, you know, to see through. And I was pleased for all the subs today. How tough was the... There you go. Uh, Everton did score twice in that second half. Two brilliant goals from Dwight McNeil. He's certainly enjoying being moved into that number 10 position or the position just off Dominic Calvert-Loon. He's had a much better performance as there than when he shoved out on that left-hand side. This is what the manager had to say on Dwight McNeil's positional change. Well, we know he's got quality. We know his, his stats and facts from certainly the first season out here were very strong and he he was working hard and couldn't quite find the same moment. So, you know, I just, me and the staff, you know, we spoke about it and could we get him inside? I think Eli, Eli's done well in the wide area to allow us maybe more freedom to move Dwight. And of course, you've got to find a result. At the end of the day, you've got to find a win. Um, and I thought we needed that slight better kind of opening quality, as in finding a pass, finding a finish, finding the delivery and being higher at the pitch and in the midfield, uh, sorry, the centre of the pitch. In theory, anyway, as long as we can get the ball in there, then, then you know, that brings him to life more than maybe say, um, on the wide. I think he can do both well, and I think he'll mature into that role as he as he plays there more. Ashley Young had taken to social media to speak about the win on Saturday. He uh, took to Instagram and said, it's a massive three points that have been coming. We've been unlucky, but our togetherness is too strong not to change that look at some point. Maybe it was the skip speech at half-time. I think the whole stadium heard them. Uh, Young talking about Seamus Coleman, obviously intervening at the break, wasn't happy like the rest of us with what we'd witnessed in that first 45 minutes and uh, let them all know. And certainly it had a positive effect as Everton came out for the second half and turned it round. Let's hope now that we can kick on starting this Saturday against Newcastle United. Uh, today, Eddie Howe has confirmed that Alexander Isaac may well miss the trip to Goodison Park, so uh, that would be another boost for the Blues as well. And tonight, Everton under-21s have uh, their game against Reading has been moved from Southport. They will now play that game at Finch Farm. It kicks off at 7 o'clock. That is it for the news daily. Make sure you check out the final word from Everton to Crystal Palace 1 at the weekend. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. See you later.